friends, Kichi from Triffing here today. I'm going to show you a very, very incredible, incredible piece of gear. I'm going to show you the Triple Play Express. The Triple Play Express is amazing. I've had a couple iterations of the Triple Play. What's amazing about the Express is that you basically plug it in and it's good to go. And that's amazing, especially for someone like myself, maybe yours truly, maybe not you, but someone that doesn't have time or maybe be someone who's intimidated or, or feels challenged by the extensive setup that you might have to do for other pieces of gear by other companies. But what's awesome about these Triple Play Express, I'll show you, it's right here. This is all it is. It attaches the guitar body with adhesive. The pickups go under here and you plug it in and it stays plugged in by USB. That's what's really cool. From here, it goes USB into your computer and then you run everything from there. I'll show you what the software looks like. I'll show you the sounds. It's very, very cool. Let me show you some of the sounds right now just so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is a, this is a tone I made up for this song. Show a couple more sounds. Pretty crazy, huh? You can play things with arpeggiations. I'm obsessed with these sounds. You even get real crazy and play percussion. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I can always get lost in doing this. Always. You play multiple at the same time. Pretty awesome. So that's what it sounds like. What does it look like? So within here, I'll show you the triple play utility first. Triple play utility is super easy. You could set up the sensitivities for everything, for every single string, high E. You don't want to be hitting yellow. It's just like everything else you normally do in recording. You don't want to go nuts with where it's hitting. So I like to set mine all here because I pick extremely hard. You could also set how hard you pick whether softer or harder. You can have it monitor your hand position. It has a tuner in it, which is super helpful because you're not typically running into your guitar rig, although you can simultaneously run into your amp or your VST or whatever the heck, so you're recording live guitar while you're recording this affected guitar, this controlling MIDI. So all this is here. You can transpose the octaves as well, which always sounds fun. That one gets a little bit low. And I have a delay built into it, and that's why it just goes on pretty, pretty much endlessly. But let's show you what all these things are. So that first one, you're hearing the power leader. Back. And I need to emphasize once again how easy this is. This looks daunting, but basically... You get the software, you download it, and then everything corresponds to how you're playing. You 
can also test and change how you want it to trigger mode. So if you want a smooth bend, if you want step bends. Pretty incredible. <laughs> so the customizations are awesome, but let me show you how I built this sound. So what I did with this sound is you can open up any of the software effects that you like and Fishman has a whole bunch that come with it. But I love this one. So this is the Yuhi Zebra HZ, which is Hans Zimmer's setup. I don't know Hans Zimmer, but he's absolutely one of my heroes. So what I did in here is I found this setting called Power Leader. I have to crank it up because I've got this crazy compressor that's making it go nuts and make it super loud. So here's the original power leader. So you can see how that works there. You can customize it if you'd like. You can change all sorts of different things. But basically for this one, I picked power leader, changed a couple settings, put an EQ to make it, you know, fit within the mix. I want it to fit in there. And the reason why I back it off down to negative 23 is because of this awesome plugin, the Argent Compressor. We set some stuff to make it go kind of crazy. I popped in some bus compression that shoots it over to an LFL tool. So you could, but you could set this tool to anything. Very cool. With each one, I did something nutty on it. I'll show you a foundry base, I think. This one's super fun. So with this sound, obviously I'm playing the guitar. I used Foundry Bass within the Zimmer stuff, and which this is what it sounds like. Just controlling that sound, I put some EQ. And this Argent turns it up incredibly loud. So I want more of that hellacious kind of Blade Runner sound. I've been a little LFO crazy lately. Very, very Blade Runner. Yep, that just kind of goes on forever, doesn't it? buddy. <laughs> you can even do percussion, which is really awesome. So I've got this low tom percussion. I don't recall which one this is. Oh, so I was using damage two from heaviosity here. And the fact you can control your guitar is insane. Let me show you that I'm actually playing with my guitar. You make your own Mad Max Junky XL style soundtrack right there as well. Simply by playing your freaking guitar. It blows my mind. Yes, you can play keyboard as well, but if you're a guitar player first, you may as well play the instrument you know.
So I'll show you what some of these sound like layered together. I love this sound. So this sound is the Sound Iron Quadril 3, popped on with an Argent compressor. I got this idea from my pal at Sound Iron, and then I've got a bus running to the delay, and I'm having the delay being opened and closed by the LFO from Xfer, and it makes a really, really nice sound, like so. See that little bit of that little bit of reverb that's bussing really makes that sound. So here it is without that bus reverb with the LFO trigger. I think I need to call LFO anonymous. I definitely love me some LFOs. So yeah, it's that simple. You plug your guitar in, you set up the triple play express like so. Here's what you can control a lot of the triple play as well with, which is really cool. So you could do single presses up. You could program the increment up, program the increment down, bend mode and auto and trigger by pressing up and down at the same time. So you can control things from here and up and down your sensitivities or your octaves, whatever you like to do. I like to keep it really simple. I like to keep it very simple and just plug in and go. So what we recommend is that you definitely get the sensitivity set up. Pretty amazing. You can play strings like this, you can play percussion, you can play anything you want. Even this silly little tempo thing. This little ultra beat guy. It's, it's pretty, um, you can absolutely get lost in this, the fact that you can now transform your guitar into any instrument you want, and I love that very much so. It's amazing. I love it. I love it so, so very much. So get yourself the new Triple Play Express. Make sure you tune it real quickly with that utility app. It doesn't take you very long. Get it going. Set the sensitivities. Obviously, yours will probably be all like four or five or so. This guitar's bridge and strings are very, very close to the pickup, so these are probably running a little bit hot, but you know what? I like it. I like it running a little bit hot. So there it is. Check out the full video. Check out the full song. Check out how I did it right here. Again, I just stacked a bunch of plugins, made it sound good, and I'd rather do it with this than what I do it with a keyboard. Get yourself the Triple Play Express now.